hello everyone uh, thank you so much for uh, for maybe for visiting okay uh, success uh, strategies uh, tv okay my name is muiwa adidayo i am a lecturer i am also an educational neuroscientist okay this is the part two of uh, the uh, the topic that i i started which i titled uh, dopamine fasting and detox okay three ideas for escaping dopamine uh, slavery in the part one i was able to re really okay discuss okay dopamine okay what is dopamine fasting and then i talk about dopamine reset and then i think lastly i i discuss okay i or i i really dwelt on um dopamine slavery okay it is it so in the in this uh video okay my 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 plan is to make sure that i complete it okay for my uh, for my global uh, viewers so as a custom okay on this uh, uh, station i often ask questions okay it is as soon as i ask questions i go about okay answering uh, the, the uh, or giving answers to the questions one after uh, the other so the first question in this video is what okay are the three ideas okay what are the three ideas for escaping dopamine slavery then in the first video i, I, I talked about okay dopamine slavery okay where i, I said dopamine slavery is when we allow when we, we we give okay external forces okay do, dominion okay over our lives okay oh, external forces like okay activities okay that release dopamine uh, for example when we spend countless hours okay watching netflix okay facebooking whatsapping okay hanging out okay with friends okay going to clubs okay etc okay these are all dopamine inducing a uh, kind of activities or, or activities yes in general so what are the the, the 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 three ideas okay based on research and data that i've gathered okay for this video that will do what that will help okay an individual okay escape okay dopamine and slavery okay the first one is this is what i call um uh, neurological okay awareness that the first okay idea or insight okay that an individual needs in order to escape okay from dopamine and slavery is that you need to do what to be a brain science informed that's whatever thing okay that we do and that we do repeatedly and that whatever actions okay we take consistently that this action create what neuro circuit in our brains and that as soon as a formidable neuro circuit is created okay for that activity so there is no going back it is that activity that will become kind of uh rulers okay ruler okay of our life just because okay the brain has established okay uh, the what the control center we just discover that whether we like it or not we just find ourselves okay still doing that activity despite the fact that deep inside of us we're not happy okay about it but we become so helpless so by being neurological okay aware okay this will do what will help you to do what to practice modesty and uh, per adventure if you find yourself okay being addicted okay being a slave okay to a particular activity all you need to do is if you want to change it okay, you stop doing it i know that it's not going to be easy but that is the only way that you can change a particular destructive behavior as soon as you stop doing it okay the neurons okay and the synapses okay that have uh, that have formed okay in the neural circuit okay for that behavior they will start disintegrating and as soon as they start disintegrating just because you're no longer doing it anymore and in the long run okay if you keep okay to your decision you just discover that yes that that activity is no longer appealing to you the reason is that you've applied okay neuroscience then the second thing second idea that i strongly believe that will help us okay escape dopamine slavery has to do with okay the practice of modesty 
okay that whatever thing that we're doing in life in life okay extremism okay fanatism leads to to what to addictive behavior that whatever thing that we do do to the extreme okay makes us become um it make, makes us be, be, become so so um maybe connected to that thing so bonded to it that escaping from, from it is going to uh, be difficult so the the um, the mantra is that we should do was we should practice modesty okay that we should, we should not be um we should not be take anything okay to the extreme in life okay that we should take things with with, with moderation Okay, take things with moderation. If you know you you want to watch a Facebook, okay, you can't. Okay, I want to have to spend thirty minutes, okay, on Facebook. If you know you want to to, to eat, okay, don't eat or, or don't drink to stupor. Okay, this okay will lead to what to addiction because your your uh, your your the, the, the neurons okay in your brain and your nervous system okay will do what they will respond okay to extreme behaviors and before you know you become so addicted and and the the, the the, the the control of your life would be externally okay determined then the third point here has to do okay with what i call okay that uh, personal health okay practice okay personal health uh, practice has has to do okay with, with the fact that if we are aware that whatever action we are taking today okay we have future consequences this okay will serve as a kind of okay as uh, as a red uh, flag okay whenever we want to do things in order to do or to satisfy the flesh okay for example if you are an individual okay uh, that does what uh, that eats almost like five times a day and not only it eating okay that eats junk foods like five times a day naturally yes these foods okay they are dopamine inducing okay agents okay you feel happy okay you, uh, that's the way that you you, you actually feel uh th these endorphins are released dopamines dopamine is also re released okay when you're consuming this junk food but do not forget that the consequences of your present action will not be obvious that is going to be, be what it's going to be in the future is going to affect your health it's going to go when when, when your, your body mass index okay expands it's going to do what affects okay your your memory okay your in, your intelligence it will affect your self-esteem and it will do what it will lead you to to uh to break down your immune system okay you'll be susceptible to constant okay illness okay etc so the 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 third point okay is the fact that we must not allow dopamine inducing activities okay uh, uh foods okay uh, behaviors etc to take control of our lives because if we do okay the consequences will not be visible immediately but the repercussions okay uh, will be in the future so these are ideas that i strongly believe that they are worth uh, sharing and uh, thank you so much okay uh, for your time and do not forget to subscribe to um, our channel okay do, if, if you have any questions okay, please feel free to to drop your questions i'll make sure that i read them okay and um, uh, and uh, maybe possibly okay give you data driven okay answers uh, thank you and i shall see you in the next video